guys, Matt Johnson here, and welcome to my second video right here on my brand new YouTube channel, Coffee and Watches. Today we are going to be talking about the Hamilton Ventura Double XL Automatic, which is a beautiful Swiss made watch. We are also going to be talking about the high pay single watch winder and matches the look and design of the Hamilton Ventura watch. We're gonna do a watch check, we're gonna do a coffee check. Welcome to Coffee and Watches. Hey guys, so welcome to the second video here on Coffee and Watches. I'm Matt Johnson and today we are going to be discussing the Hamilton Ventura Double XL Automatic. But before we do, let's do a coffee and watch check. And today we have Starbucks Sumatra. It's a beautiful full bodied coffee with spicy and herbal blends, good earth tones. So we love this, we make it in our Keurig machine and that is the coffee I'm drinking today. The watch I am wearing today let's give you a little close-up of this beauty I absolutely love this it is by TW steel it's the grandeur tech it features a PVD rose gold plated steel case a black dial and a black silicone strap it's a stunning watch I'll put a link in the um, links below where you can purchase this watch in black or white so let's begin by unboxing the Hamilton Ventura Double XL Automatic. As always with the Hamilton watches, it comes in a great presentation box. So we open this box to find inside a, another box. So what we have here is a beautiful presentation box, which if we open up, contains ba, 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 the watch itself. It is a beautiful and stunning watch. The ambassador for Hamilton watches was none other than Elvis Presley. Uh, the original Hamilton Ventura launched in 1957. Uh, it made watchmaking history as the world's first electrical battery powered watch. Creating an automatic version of a watch famed for its battery powered movement was a very, very bold move on the part of Hamilton. How do you improve on an iconic Ventura watch that came with the electrical battery operated movement. Well, you go big or you go home. We have an automatic movement. Uh, it's the same automatic movement that was in the vintage 50th anniversary line. It's the ETA 2824-2 movement. Now that movement is a three hand movement with a date function and boasting uh, a reserve of 80 hours, which is incredible. The H10 appears um, with some intricate cr contrasting and pearled patterns uh, from, taken from the American classic models. Uh, the case material is stainless steel with a beautiful polished finish. The crystal on the front and the reverse side where you can see the movement is a sapphire crystal. The case size is about 42 millimeters and it's got a water resistance of about five bars, 50 meters uh, or 164 feet. Although to be honest, I would not be taking this watch underwater. It comes with this black neoprene strap. I personally am a big fan of the neoprene rubber straps. Uh, it is actually 23 and a half millimeters lug to lug. What's unique about this watch is the lugs aren't showing. The uh, strap actually goes into uh, the body of the watch, which is kind of cool. I love that about this watch. It's got a pin buckle here uh, with the Hamilton uh, inscription logo on there with poni uh, polished and brush finishing. Now I think you'll agree with a textured dial there, more aggressive look and uh, a similar avant-garde nature. I think it takes the look of the Hamilton Ventura a little bit more upmarket and makes it cool again and relevant again. This is the watch that you've seen the um, agents wearing in Men in Black and this is the watch that was fashioned after the original Hamilton Ventura uh, sported back in the 50s by uh, none other than Elvis Presley. I think it's been a very good idea for Hamilton to focus on its heritage line 
uh, and bring back this beautiful and stunning watch. So there it is on the wrist, uh, coming in at 42 millimeters. I am just a huge, huge fan of this watch. What I love about this watch is the styling, the polished finish, the neoprene strap, um, the way it sits so beautifully on the wrist and it is very, very uh, recognizable, but it also stands out from all other watches that you see. Um, it's not the easiest watch to read, mostly because of its triangular face shape and the fact that the, um, the minute markers are slightly off. Once you get used to it, it's certainly not a problem. I love how the crown itself is integrated into the watch, kind of like a Cartier Roadster style. Again, this watch is not about necessarily uh, the most readable watch. It's not about... Um, the most expensive watch. This watch is about standing out. This watch turns heads. This watch gets comments when it's seen. And a lot of people these days recognize it from the Men in Black movies. Now, when it comes to purchasing the Hamilton Ventura XXL, it is certainly not the most expensive watch on the market, but it's certainly not cheap either. Right now, if I go on Amazon, it comes in at about $2,000 Canadian, uh, but I picked this up for, I believe, about $1,300 Canadian for this watch. It's a beautiful watch. It's Swiss made. It has a Swiss movement. So you can pick these up anywhere from about $1,000 to $2,000 US. Uh, right now and I'm going to put the links below uh, to a couple of sources where you can pick this up from including Amazon and uh, Hamilton uh, themselves. Now before we finish this video one other thing I wanted to show you is a find uh, that I got on Amazon that I really love for displaying uh, the Hamilton Ventura, and that is this, the high pay single automatic watch winder. Uh, it comes with a quiet motor and four rotation mode settings. It's made with a Japanese Mabuchi motor, which is uh, pretty quiet. I wouldn't say it's extremely quiet, but it's certainly pretty quiet. It's got a built-in LED light that illuminates the watch with an on-off control, and it's a beautiful blue uh, LED light, looks very futuristic. Inside here, uh, the the watch holder itself is spring loaded as well, so it will fit uh, pretty much any size watch. It's powered by a 100 to 240 volt AC adapter, which is included and comes with an 18 month warranty. This one is the one that I got specifically for the Hamilton Ventura, and I think you'll see why. If you look at the shape of the front of the watch winder and look at the shape of the watch, they are exactly the same. It is almost as though this watch winder was built for this watch watch it really is incredible this is the Hamilton Ventura uh, mounted inside the high pay single automatic watch winder and I think you'll agree it does not get any better than that it looks as though the watch winder was specifically made for this Hamilton watch I mean that really is quite stunning having the watch mounted inside this futuristic watch winder that's the same shape as the face of the watch Well, that's it for this week's edition of Coffee and Watches. I'll put the links below to check out uh, the TW Steel Watch, the Hamilton Ventura XXL Watch, the coffee that I'm drinking, the Starbucks Sumatra, and also the High Pay Watch Winder to match the Ventura Watch. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to suit up and boot up and put on your favorite watch and go out there, have a good time and be safe. Please like this video below, leave your comments. It is a brand new YouTube channel, but I'm enjoying bringing this information to you about my favorite watches. And don't forget, click on this subscribe link down here to follow my videos and get my new videos every Friday. Until next time, bye for now.